Hi everybody. So a while ago I did a side-by-side -side test in Wolfenstein 2 with an AMD A12 APU and Ryzen mobile and saw the, a the A12 destroying AMD's new mobile APU. I've wondered why that is since Ryzen's Vega GPU should be at least on par or better than the GPU of that Bristol Ridge APU. Also the Ryzen SoC just like the Bristol Ridge SoC lets the GPU keeping its frequency high at the expense of the CPU speed. So that shouldn't be a problem. And while I was pretty sure that this is because of the fucking two months old drivers AMD is offering, I was asking myself what performance the Vega 8 GPU can really deliver. So today I want to answer this question for myself and maybe for you. First thing I want to know is what teraflop number we can get out of this chip. The basically the raw compute performance. Also I will compare it to the GPU of the A12 which is very similar to Vega. Besides it's not Vega, it's uh, GCN 1.2 Tonga. Both are clocked at 1.1 gigahertz, have 8 compute units or 512 shading units. It's basically like comparing a Fury X and the RX Vega 64 at the same clock speeds in a like, in a smaller scale. It's also worth noting that for the following tests both GPUs have only 256 megabyte dedicated VRAM, 8 gigs of dual channel DDR4-2400 RAM and with the exact same timings. So it should be interesting. As you can see, Vega is hitting the 1 teraflop mark while the A12 Tonga GPU stays slightly below. Worth noting here is the excellent double precision performance of the A12 compared to Vega 8. A nice scene to compare GPUs without hitting the GPU too hard is the intro of 3D Mark Skydiver benchmark. And since it's not that new anymore, the drivers of both GPUs should be ready for this. And here we have the results of a full SkyDriver benchmark run for both APUs. 
Since both GPUs have the same clock speeds, number of compute units, RAM limitations, as well as a similar raw compute power, I suspect Vega's improved compression techniques to play a big role here in this result.